whilst this Charles, the former Prince of Wales, was having a big special upgrade day to the King of the United Kingdom, I thought I would try the same feat whilst playing Crusader Kings 3 and take my own character called Charles from being a Prince of Wales to the King of England. This series documents how that went. Hello, good people of Twitch and the rest of the internet, even though there's no one there. Um, today is, well, it's the Friday before Saturday, and the Saturday holds a special coronation. I say special. Coronations don't really come along every, well, all the time, so it's just special regardless of who it is. And some would say special because maybe the person is not their favourite. Maybe they missed their queen. Who knows? Anyway, the point is, we're going to do something uh, along the lines of how the king got to where he did by playing Crusader Kings 3. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to take a a player called Child, Charles. Yeah, let's go with Charles. And we're going to make him go from Prince of Wales to the King of England. Even though the King is going to be King of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, random other places. But, you know, we're slightly limited with Crusader Kings, so we'll do what we can. Um, so, first of all, we need to create our create our prince um, we could go with this guy but he's got the wrong name um, and all of these people they're just lords so really we need to create our own ruler we will give him a name Let's go with Charles. Um, it says Duke. I'm hoping Principality it'll show up as Prince in the game. And now we have to choose what uh, what's his dynasty. I don't know. I mean, the winds or motto inherit. Turns. I can't spell that word. Yeah, I can't spell that word. Inheritance is life. I don't know. And custom coat of arms or adjusted. Start from a current design. Yeah. So, is there anything which really represents what we're going for? No. So, we'll just make it up. Um, let's go with this one. That looks pretty... Pretty Charlesy. Um, what we would like, though, oh, you can put multiple. So we want red, but we want this to be white. The red of Wales, the white of Wales. I don't know. Let's finish that. And. Obviously, this doesn't look like our our Charles. So, what should our Charles look like? He should. How do we add it? Oh yes, change parents. So, West or Central European, I guess. 
I think we're going to need to customize further. So, low body fat, a bust size. Oh, only visible for women. That makes more sense. Um, skin color. Pasty white. Maybe that's too pasty. Head height. Oh, yeah. A bit of that profile. How much does this head stick out? Not that much. Head top height. Interesting. We just leave it somewhere in the middle. Head width. It's a lot of variation. It's probably not too important. Maybe a thinner neck than the most. Skin complexion. All the way up, sure. Or complexion type. I don't know what that is. Anyway. Ears. Well, actually, let's start with the hair, since we did that. Um... I'm not sure if any of these are going to go. I say start with the uh, the hair. How do I change the beard? Beard. I think we're going to go with no beard. And the hairstyle. Roman fade. Unkempt. No, I think I want the opposite of unkempt. Wavy. Curls. Pulled back is the closest we've come so far. I done hair loops. Um, these are not fitting in with what I was wanting. Well, pulled back, I think, is winning or has won. Uh, hair color a bit darker. Sure. On to the ears. So. Can we even see his ears? Yes. Angle? Okay, that angle. Um, not normal? What's a normal angle? You know that. Bend? Oh, like outwards? Yeah, bend them outwards. The inner shape. Mm. Just leave that there. Outward? Oh. I mean... Maybe a bit, but... And then the size. Great. This is clearly... Clearly what we're going for. On to the facial structure. Cheek definition. Yeah, let's go with not very much. Cheek fat. Yeah, let's go with not very much. Forward. And I kind of like his cheeks as they are, so maybe we'll just skip that. Um, cheek, uh, chin definition. Yes, there's a lot of difference in that. Detail. We can look very weird. Uh, chin height. You know, there's... So many options. Well, let's just move on. 
Um, eyes. That's a good question. What? Uh, kind of like this color, maybe? So, certainly not red or uh, small brown. Make it look a bit alien like. I corner. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. Depth there. Yeah, let's let's bring that all the way out. Distance. Ooh. Put it back. Fold shape. The eye height. So the eyebrows, I mean, it says thick and sparse, but there isn't really too much difference. Average, sure, let's go with average. Um, the nose, we need to do some stuff to. Nasolabial detail. A bit of that. Forward. What a long nose. Relatively sticky out nose, but not that much. Profile. A bit of profile. Nose bridge. Cannot. Um, yeah, make it curve right into his skull. Mm -hmm. Let's just go with that. And the definition. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're definitely, definitely doing something here. I don't know if it's the right thing that we're doing, but we're definitely doing something. Um, can make that wider or narrower. Quite narrow, maybe. This now looks silly. Angle. The tip definition. Sure. Tip width. Nostrils. Maybe a bit up. But then. Not very wide. And the mouth, well, let's just say that the mouth is fine. Sure. There you go. There is our Prince Charles. So, now we just need to decide what Charles is like in terms of his personality and his skills. Is he married? Um, does that add any points? So he can marry. But I guess we could just choose 
a uh, partner in the game. Let's make him a bit younger. Not too young. Well, we could start him off very young and then he will have... Have the chance to get all the traits himself. <laughs> I suppose the there's a danger in, in going too young because then you'll probably just end up getting killed, which is uh, not a good thing. Um. So we need to choose him a relatively slender way, I guess. I chucked his diplomacy up, but maybe we should get into that. Intrigue, well, let's maybe just throw that down. Yeah, he has terrible intrigue. Martial, not very good at that either. Learning, yeah, let's say he's quite learned. Well, that's his average, what's good. 13. Prowess. Well, maybe his marshal's a bit higher, but his prowess is low. Stewardship. I... I don't know. What kind of stewardship? Diplomacy of... Uh, maybe it is. Yeah, still quite high. Put it onto excellent. Um... Say average stewardship because generally he doesn't have to do much stewarding. You'd expect someone to steward for him. Which means his education is all wrong. We probably want a Diplomacy education. That's learning. Uh, each costing more points than the last. So he can be naive or an adequate bargainer. Diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 20%. That's just the same in all of them. Oh no, it does go up 30%. So it could be helpful to get more lifestyle experience points. Costly. But, um, still. And then what traits would be good? Um, I don't want Chase just yet, because, well, for a start, it costs us customization points. But we're going to need to build up a dynasty here. It's only our Prince Charles, currently. Um, stress loss, stewardship, small booth to house, health even. So, greedy, or he doesn't need greedy. Generous, which is the opposite of greedy. Um, would boost his diplomacy. I don't think his diplomacy needs a boost, really. In fact, I could probably chuck that down a couple of notches to get a, uh, to get a few more of these traits. So, what else we got? Lazy, doesn't sound any good. Diligent is pretty good. Adds quite a few points. And unlocks developed capital, which is good. Stress loss minus 50%. So, he finds it harder to lose stress. I think that's what that means. Let's give him that. Calm, which would improve his stress loss and also his dread decay. I don't think, I mean, is there an opposite? Wrathful. Oh no, it's wrong here. Wrathful. Gives natural dread, but... 
I'm gonna start him now. Patient. Or impatient. Gives extra prestige. Let's just add a whole bunch of things and we can always remove them. Arrogant. Humble. Yes, we're not necessarily going... Well, we do actually have high learning right now. So, maybe drop that. A little. The... Brave, well... Craven, shy, gregarious, enjoy spending time with other people. I don't know about that. Ambitious. Ambitious could be interesting. We've gone over our limit. I mean, if we want achievements, but we might as well. Otherwise, we'll just chuck everything up to, like, a hundred. And there wouldn't be that much of a challenge. Um, cynical, zealous, paranoid. Trusting. Is he trusting? That's lowered his intrigue even further. Probably not. Compassionate. Which is virtuous to Catholics. Although he'd have a, le a lesser opinion of uh, people who are callous or sadistic, which is, you know, maybe a thing anyway. I sub that in. But it doesn't let you choose both. That's good. Um, stubborn, potentially. Vengeful, forgiving. And then there are other traits. Oh, diplomat. So, independent ruler, opinion, personal scheme power. I suppose we might be able to pick these up through life. You know, if you go to parties, you become a, a reveler. We're not going to be a blade master, so we don't have to worry about that. Hunter as well. Strategist. Overseer. Avaricious. Schema seducer. Well, I mean, maybe a seducer. Hall of Body, Scholar, there's lots here, Wise Man, Session Herbler, Gardener, you can't pick, oh these are Childhood, that's why. But I don't know, if you're one of these does it turn into something else if you are a child? But you can choose uh, Things like Drunkard, which will give you health penalty. Irritable. Potentially. We've all seen various pen incidents. Oh, and then there's positive ones as well. So, journaler, confider, athletic. Yeah, they make you pay for that. You can make him a lunatic. Or ill. I guess we'll leave out all of these things. I'm going to give him typhus or anything. Ah, but we could have made him beautiful. 
which adds diplomacy and boosts the uh, fertility. Or we could make him an imbecile. I wonder, because this is five points, so you get 25. Like, and that's 240. How many points does it cost? Like, so each one of those is, well, that was four. That was only one. And that was seven. And that was 11. So I suppose there's different. Okay, so it's 7 up to a point, and then it's 11. Um, just trying to work out if it was cheaper. I suppose if you had a very average player. Oh no. Because that's... Averaging just below 10 points each, so quite expensive. But then you have the congenital trait, which means it will be passed on. Yeah, I think all these are too expensive based on what we have. Um, I mean, we could make him a dwarf, but no, or scaly. Yeah, make him scaly. Uh, or a cannibal. Oh no, that's expensive as well. A deviant. Which... And just so many more. Anyway, let's say we're done. So we need to find maybe 31 less points. So, uh, we reduce the... So that's 399 points. Is he married? Let's, let's go to the game and we'll, we'll work out that. Um, great. Let's say we're finalized. <laughs> Cannot undo this change. Go on then. Yes, we are now Prince Charles of Gwynedd or Gwyneth. So, here we are in the year 867. I suppose we actually need to click start. Achievements are not available. Well, we'll still play by the rules. Um, no player air. And start. Sure, we'll call it that. Maybe we'll save it to the cloud. So, into the game. We have advice. This isn't my first time playing Crusader Kings uh, 3. I have played a couple of campaigns. I'm not exactly an expert. In fact, I'm very far away from an expert. Um, so this may not work. I may be terrible at getting our Prince Charles into the King of England seat. Let's see. So we obviously have a problem here. We have no heir. We also are not married. So that's one first thing to work out. We're over our domain limit, which is great. Um, and we have no lifestyle chosen. So we are, we do have that bonus to diplomacy because that's apparently what I just built. So which of the diplomacy lifestyles do we want to go for? Do we want to become the family man who can create lots of friends and maybe start no, that's not showing me any of these first we have to choose the actual focus um so do we want extra diplomacy points or do we want prestige or do we want fertility boost and maybe at the moment the fertility boost would be good um or the prestige i'm not quite sure 
Maybe we'll need to call allies into wars, and that may require prestige. Um, but for now, let's go fertility. At least for the beginning. And, well, we have nothing to unlock, but we can now see what these do. So, yeah, children receiving extra skill points is good. Uh, close family opinion, personal scheme success rate. Each of your friend relations gives you two random skill points to the maximum of five. Is that five friends or five skill points? Because that would be two and a half friends. Each living child gives you one random skill point. So again, then you want lots of children. And then Patriarch, which gives you extra facility, more stress loss, more opinion, more opinion with the people in your house. Uh, befriending people is potentially powerful. Is there anything else? So title creation, cheaper, vassal opinion, learning languages. Claims on county speed is much increased. And then, well, the bottom of the tree. Oh, force vassalage. Uh, oh, a war of vassalage. Fine. And just independent order opinion, personal scheme power. So. August. Marshall. Diplomacy and Prestige. And up that tree, we have uh, Commissioning an Epic, Level of Fame, Level of Fame uh, boosts and stuff. Prestige per Knight. So this one is more prestige focused, this tree. Uh, sway Scheme Power. Monthly prestri uh, uh, Prestige per Powerful Vassal. So if you put five powerful vassals all on your council, then you end up with 25% bonus. That's quite good. Anyway, we've set that. We'll work out which one of those we want first. Uh, we need to find a wife. Yeah, go with matrilineal. That will do good. Um, so we can go with some of skills, find someone who's decent. Maybe I should be finding someone who's pretty good at the things that our Prince Charles is not good at. So, no intrigue. And very poor. Marshall. Her health is fine. Uh, does this include fertility? Yeah, fertile. Good. So... Preferably someone slightly younger and someone closer. Yeah, all of these ones are relatively low-born. Uh, an alliance as well would also be good. So... We just do some of all skills, actually, and go... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe. Or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated, or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.